starting quarterback of BYU football to discuss bowling in more than just one way. Let's first address the 200 club t-shirt that you are wearing because we just learned that you bowled a 227. Wow. In a bowling class on campus? In a bowling class, yes. Probably the best class you could ever take. It's like a half credit, yeah. but it's a good stress release, especially during final time. You can go to your bowling class, bowl a couple games, and then on to your next class. More clutch, your 200 plus or either of the Hail Marys last year? <laughs> The 200 club is probably harder to do. <laughs> Seriously? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, the Hail Mary, you just throw it up and they catch it. But bowling, I mean, it, 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 it was stressful, but I got, I got lucky just, just rattling off. So strikes, many but. strikes in a row to get over you don't, 200. You don't get lucky to get over 200. Come on, man. Well, it, I don't know. It was just, it was, uh, I mean, I haven't gotten 227 since, though, so I got to gotta pick it back up. Are you the best bowler on the football team? I don't know. I mean, it, it kind of depends. I know, um, Micah Hanneman, he's pretty good. Um, Mike <laughs> Shelton, Mike Shelton's actually pretty good. Mike Shelton, yeah. Okay. Philip Amone, he's good. Um, I mean, we got a few good bowlers on the team. We so. need to determine I, I, this yeah. after the football season is yeah. over. There's something we need. That's to do. a good team activity, like a bowling tournament. So Absolutely. we'll see. <laughs> yeah, Dad, bowling <laughs> yeah, tournament. Let's do it. Taysom Hill goes down in the Utah State. You come in. Uh, now you're the starter for the bowl game. What's the last couple weeks been like for you? I mean, it's, it's kind of just. Uh, I mean. Kind of been in, in in segments, I guess you'd say. You know, obviously, I felt terrible when I found out that he was going to be out, you know, for so long, and it just it just sucks. You know, he's already been through so much, and to see him go through it again, you know, hurts. You know, you just you just feel bad for him. You know, just because you don't, you know, that would suck to be in that position, and and he's already, you know, been through a lot. So we're hoping that he can, you know, have a speedy recovery. But knowing him, they, he'll he'll get through it. Um, but then it's just kind of okay, like, all right, now i got to get ready and focus up and, uh, and then start, start studying the film, looking at Wyoming, uh, meeting with Coach Detmer to go over some new plays we're putting in, you know, a little bit different game plan. So, and now I'm, you know, really excited, being able to throw with the guys, and then today practicing felt good. So I think everyone's kind of itching to get, get there. Bowl, the bowl prep always is tough. It's a test of patience, you know, you got a couple weeks. Just got to wait it out and take it, you know, one day at a time, get better each day. And, but I think we're, we're feeling good. We're excited. How different will the offense be now that you are the starter and you'll have had almost four full weeks to prepare for the start? I mean, there'll be some differences just because of skill set. You know, I'm not the runner that Taysom is, so probably not as much zone read and not as much um, QB run, you know, design quarterback runs. But, um, but overall, you know, the same goal in mind to dominate the run game, feed Jamal, get him the ball, make sure we're establishing that at the line of scrimmage and then being able to, to throw off that. And, and we have a little bit more passing, I think, you know, just, it, it depends. Obviously, it, Coach Zimmer is really good at adjusting as the game goes on and, and taking what the defense gives us. So we can't predict, like, you know, what it's going to be like. But, um, you know, there'll be some subtle differences, but overall they, the same with the same, you know, goal in mind. You hope that it's the same, but it's I, I'm guessing that it's not. Being named the starter, knowing you're the starter, versus going into a game as the backup. What's the, what's the difference mentally? There, there's a difference, I think, um, especially when it comes to practice. Being able to get all the reps in practice is huge. You know, as the backup, you don't get many. You get a few plays here and there, so you don't feel quite as confident just because you don't have the the repetition. Mm -hmm. And um, so then you get thrown into a game a little bit cold, and you kind of have to get your feet. You know, under you. Whereas, you know, when you, when you get a full week of practice, you get all the reps and everything. That that builds your confidence because you know you've ran the plays, you know, a lot. You've you've repped it with all the guys, so you know what you're doing, and uh, so it, that helps. I think that just naturally builds some confidence. So I'm I'm feeling good about that. That'll definitely help, and um, so I'm excited to get going here, start practicing every day, and just get that that confidence down. To quote Jamal Williams, he said, "Tanner Mangum is ready." as the quarterback. What has the reception overall been like from your teammates since you were named the guy for the bowl game? I think nothing's really changed. I think we just, we've kept that same mindset of no matter who's in, we're going to go win the game. You know, we, we have that belief. And, um, you know, I, I agree with Jamal. I'm ready. You know, I, I feel good. And I think the guys know that it, regardless, regardless of who's in, as long as we do our job, as long as we execute, then, um, you know, we'll be tough to stop. So it's, it's doesn't, it doesn't come down to, you know, one position. Um, Obviously, the quarterback position carries with it a lot of pressure and notoriety and things like that. But when it comes down to it, there are 11 guys on the field at a time. So as long as each guy's doing their job, you know, we've got the skill set. We've got the, um, the talent to do it. 
Tanner Mangum bowling 227 in the lanes. And, and no more mustache, by the way. What happened? Yeah. It's gone. It wasn't my best look. It was fun while it lasted. It's but better than Eric Mika's. Uh, I'll, I'll let the fans decide. <laughs> <laughs> You're bowling in San Diego, too, yeah. technically. It, yeah, oh, month, nice right? connection. It's yeah, bowling right? season. It, yeah. is, it is bowling <laughs> season. Thanks, Tanner. Okay, thanks, guys.